Today, half of England has been declared a drought zone, so we must concentrate our minds on collecting water. I need lots of water for my natural swimming pool, and I collect some of it, well, most of it, from the roofs, but some of it from this roof of the summer house I built by the pool. Now, the good thing about rainwater is that it's almost pure, collects a few bits of dust particles as it falls through the atmosphere, but other than that, it's pretty good, and it's my best source of water. But when it hits the roof, it can pick up contaminants, bird poo and pollen and stuff like that dust. And the first flush of rainwater coming down drain pipe and into the pool where I'm collecting it can contain lots of nutrients. So we want to get rid of the first flush. So hence this cunning device. Well, what we've got here is a pivot and I've just used a child's wheelicle, um, wheel from a bicycle. It's one of those stabilizing wheels. In fact, it's one of them. So my child has had to learn to cycle pretty quickly. Anyway, um, so I've got one of them there. It just happened to have it around. You could just use a bolt through there and a piece of wood, but um, I quite like that. Anyway. Uh, so that's the only moving part. Oh, and this was a strut, again off the bike. Poor bike. Um, that's just holding that set of piece of string. But yes, I've got a piece of string here to stop it tipping too far. Anyway, that's it. Let's see it in action. It's rain. There we go. Okay, we've got the water coming down the gutter and here it's being diverted into the bucket. And the bucket is slowly filling with water from the first flush. So this will contain all the bird muck and droppings, we hope, in the bucket here. There we go. When it gets heavy enough, the water then flows down on into the pond. But of course the excitement's not over yet. This bucket has been draining through a small hole here into, oh well, I've got it dropping into this tub and pumping it around for the purposes of this demonstration, but normally it'd be into just a normal rainwater collection tub and you could use that around the garden. Um, and as the water level's been dropping, its weight has been decreasing, so there will be a point when it'll tip the other way ready for the next flush of rainfall. But it may take a while 